Hey everybody, this is David at Homestead Hacks. What I want to talk about today is game chickens and how crucial they are to have on your homestead. Now these things, we have them spread out right here. We have six acres total. And these things, uh, they're spread out in groups all over the homestead. And I just caught this one out here walking around. So I thought I'd film him and here comes a here comes a couple of hens. Now, what these things do is if you have flea problems, tick problems, anything like that, these things right here are crucial to keeping your grass clean. Our animals don't have hardly any fleas, any ticks. <clears throat> these things will also compete with, uh, with even stuff like fi fire ants. Now, they don't eat fire ants, but what they do, they work the grass. If you get a number of these built up, they'll work the grass in the ground and pick up food that fire ants normally eat. So over a period of time, you'll see a big decrease in the number of fire ants or any kind of ants as far as that goes. Um, we probably got, if I would round them all up, probably about... 20, 15 or 20 of these. Uh, maybe not quite that many. I did have a lot more. We do have we do have hawk issues. Just right up in the top of that uh, big pine tree, there was a, um, a hawk's nest, a red-tailed hawk's nest, and he would sit up there and he would pick off a lot of the young babies because in the spring, these hens go to set and, and they have huge number of babies uh now as far as uh broody goes uh the game chickens are very broody meaning they they love to set every hen will set so they're not like a laying hen you know you have rhode island reds we have rhode island reds and black sex link and it's rare that you ever see one of them go broody it's just over the years been bred out of them and they won't hardly set at all. So that's another benefit of these things right here. If you have, if you want to have some chickens to hatch you off some good eggs, very easy. Uh, find them when they when they go to nest. Remove their eggs if you don't want them. Replace them with Rhode Island red eggs or whatever eggs you have. They will hatch anything. It doesn't matter. And very good mothers uh some of them are a little bit overbearing a little bit overprotective we've had a few of those like that where they'll actually the hens will actually attack the dog if they get too close but most of the time they're not that bad um i've not had any of them come after people but uh but these chickens right here and and another big reason for these right here is when they roost they roost up high in these trees here and we're a, a lane hen if you're dependent on a lane hen to free range and to eat bugs which they will uh they'll roost like on top of that church pew they just they don't have the instinct in them anymore to get out of up in the air away from foxes coyotes raccoons possums anything dogs anything and everything that'll chase them so these things get way up in a tree and makes them very safe also they can fly every one of these game chickens can take off and fly 50 foot in the air if they wanted to for a half a mile uh, they don't choose to do it most of the time but if they are in danger they will so so that's something to really really consider when it comes to your homestead, uh, we love our lane chickens as well. We depend on them for eggs. But these things right here, uh, you can also get guineas. Uh, we, we had uh, issues with guineas not getting along with the other uh, chickens. They was kind of bullies. They, they would run the chickens down and pounce on them and... They wouldn't do it to the game roosters, but they would to the game hens. They uh, 
very noisy and uh, we had got rid of those because uh, the guineas like to travel too far as well. They, they will go out of your yard into other people's yard. These things right here are pretty good about staying in your on your property. They rarely wander off to somebody else's land. They seem to know their boundaries. So, of course, while I'm filming, I was trying to film the game chickens, and they walked off on me. But that's how they are. They stay on the move. They are workers. Land hens basically are lazy. You hardly ever see a land hen up here this far from the from our barn. It just hardly ever. Uh, see, there goes that one game hen right there. They stay on the move. And I've, it's rare. I, I can't remember last time I seen a, a tick in the yard or on an animal or on a dog. And if you don't have these, you're missing out. You're really missing out. While we're up here, I'll show you our apple trees. That tree right there is about done. This tree right here is uh, loaded up with Granny Smith apples. And the deer have been coming up here and eating under the trees. Something needs done with those. There's a bunch of them. Here's the front side of our barn, if you've not seen it. The goats are, of course, starving. You don't feed them twice a day. They make a lot of noise. Now, if you can see right there, right there in the corner, what is that sitting there that you see? They're all laying chickens. Every one of those right there in that grouping. You got two black sex lengths and two Rhode Island red chickens. Just on the other side of the pen right there that you see, if I can zoom in on her, is that game chicken that I filmed up there by the house. So, she has made that much ground in that little bit of time that I've been filming. They stay on the move. The laying chickens, I love them, <laughs> but they're lazy. And they're, they're fat, and they, they just don't move well, and they don't fly well. So, just uh, something to give everybody a, an idea what to use on your uh, homestead. Because uh, once you get these things, you will absolutely love them. The, and another another benefit, here's another one. I, I think I'm as I, I go on talking. Um, occasionally you will get row down red or some of these domestic breed of chickens. The roosters can be very mean sometimes. I've never, ever, ever had a game chicken come after a human being. The only time they've even come close to it if you try to mess with one of their hens. If you grab a hen, they will come after you. Otherwise, they will not. They they're not. They won't flog you. They stay away from you. They do excellent. So I can't brag enough about these things. I just keep going on and on about our game chickens. And also, see, here's another thing I thought about. And one of the biggest benefits to me is we have a humongous bee yard that you've seen in, in my introductory video. We have 240 nukes of uh, bees back there in that section alone. Those game chickens, see how she flies up there? They, they'll come and go. And uh, they will dig underneath the hives and eat hive beetles all day long. They make their rounds, they will come up here in the morning, real early in the morning about daylight and start digging under the hives. And they will dig up the, the larva of the hive beetle, which will re reduce your numbers greatly. It's it's amazing how these chickens right here, if you don't have some game chickens, uh, you really, really need to consider getting you some of these things. Uh, they're cheap to get. You can usually get, now the roosters are a little bit more expensive, but if you can just get you one of those, but the game hens, you can usually pick those up at the flea markets for eight and $10 a piece, sometimes even five when they're young so they're very inexpensive chickens to start off with and once you get them going you shouldn't have to buy any more because they will just keep on multiplying year after year after year so that's about it we'll go ahead and end the video i've gabbed enough about our game chickens and don't forget folks we're trying to get this channel up and going fast getting a lot of good ideas uh as a homesteader and a farmer i've done this since i was i'm, I'm fit i'm turned to be 53 years old 
I've been homesteading and farming since I was a kid. I've had chickens since I was the earliest I had, I think it was seven years old when I, seven or eight years old when I got my first chickens. So that's about when I started. So I've been doing this for years and years and years and I got the beekeeping channel, Barnyard Bees. And I've been wanting to do a homestead channel for a long time and I finally said I'm gonna go ahead and do it, get it going and get some good ideas out there for people to share. But don't forget, share our videos, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Homestead Hacks.